Would you like to create a custom link in bio for your Instagram account, but you may not have a website just yet? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make one just like this using Canva. There is a newer feature that is available that you can use right now. So I'm going to show you how to use it without, you know, you having a fully set up website on WordPress or any other system. So um, this is kind of how it's going to look like. So it actually does look a little bit better than uh, what I have right here, right? So this on mobile looks slightly different. So, you know, I have like, you know, my newest YouTube video, 101, my programs and, you know, things like that. Now here, what I did is I've used one of the templates and I'm going to show you how to use one for yourself. And then all these links are clickable, right? So here's what you want to do. So you want to go ahead over to your Canva account and you click and create a design. And then what you do is you just type in link in bio and you pull up this template right here and you can use one of the templates that Canva already has for you or if you feel more creative, you can just start one from scratch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one as an example and I'll show you how to customize it. So link in, in bio, I'm just gonna call it a test because that's what we're doing right now. So I can go ahead and switch, you know, this image right here, I can change all the things right here. I'm pretty sure you already know how to do all that. So let me just go ahead and put you know, this image right here, I can drag it a little bit, you know, change the background if you will, right? So I can just, I don't know, keep it yellow, keep it my brand color, or I can just, you know, go ahead and make it something. Whoops. So you can just go ahead and put it in the background and, you know, then change the colors, put your branding colors and all that kind of stuff, you know, let's just make it, you know, I don't know, like all my branding colors right here and this one. And then uh, let's make this yellow, I guess. We haven't really used yellow. And then, you know, change the fonts, colors. So I'm pretty sure you already know how to do all that. So I don't really have to be showing you all this. So this can be kept, you know, white just to kind of spice it up a little bit. This one, I'm going to make it dark blue. And then what you do is, you know, change it up to whatever you want it to, to be. So let's say you can put it, you know, for example, I have a monthly membership program. You know, here I can put services um you know here i can put whoops this totally didn't type right i can put youtube and then basically what you do is you make each of these elements um clickable so what i would suggest for you to do as well just to be extra sure is i like to combine you know basically group two elements into one so you click on one and then you hit shift on your keyboard and you click on the text and this little icon right here is going to show up group. So you're going to want to group them and then group the other and then, you know, group. Oops, that totally didn't click right. So we're just going to go ahead and do like all that, right? So that didn't click anyways. So I'm not going to do all these for the purpose of this tutorial because I do want to keep it short. And then what you want to do is you click on this element right here that is already grouped and you want to find this icon with the link right here, right? And then you're going to want to put the link. So I'm going to put the link to my funnel, my sales page, and then apply. And then you do the same thing with each of these, right? And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and publish this as a website. And then Canva gives you four different options as far as how you want it to look like, whether you want it to be like a scrolling website, whether you want to have a classic navigation. Um, and it's going to have, you know, let's just go ahead and see how it looks like. I'm not sure which kind of navigation they're going to have. So it's uh, like a link in bio test. So it, it looks pretty big on desktop. So if you care about the desktop traffic, that's not really a good look in my opinion. Um, you can make it standard. And you're going to be able to see, you know, how it all looks like. And, you know, like here you can see the menu. Um, basically everything, like every single link is going to show up at the top, which is pretty cool, right? Um, but what we're going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is I just want to make it sh make sure that it looks standard. And then I'm going to pull up the website right here. So now what it does is when I click this link right here, you know, membership, um, it basically goes to my sales page. Now, here's something else that I would suggest for you to do. So you see that the text is not really clickable and usually people do hover over the text to click on something. So I would also click on the text itself. You see now it shows the text and then I would also link the text. So just me personally, I do like to be extra sure. So, you know, just put both of them. It is a little bit extra work, but it's worth it. 
So you want to make sure that everything works fine. Now, when you publish, here's what you want to do. So now obviously everything is, it still kind of shows up interesting, but um, what you want to do is bottom left corner, you want to click on share, and then this link is going to be extra long. I'm going to show you it in the incognito window. So let's go ahead and paste it. And you see it's a very big link, obviously not a really good look for Instagram. However, everything is functional. You know, every single one of these can be clickable and you can just promote that particular link without having a fully branded website. So, and then I do recommend using a link shortener such as Bitly. I'm sure you already know about it. If not, you know, just Google it. But I'm going to go and show you one of the tools that I recently discovered, which does have a link shortener and it is actually free. Bitly does require you to pay something uh, at this point, or it does require you to have a business registered or something like that. So you do want to make sure you use something simple. So I do recommend using Neon Tools. So you can check the link right here. I'm going to leave, leave a link down below in the description box as well. Uh, but they do have several cool features as well. So uh, I've used a couple of them. If you want a separate tutorial on how to use it, I can totally do that. But let's go ahead and click on Neon ly and that's basically where you want to paste your url so i'm going to go ahead and paste it and then you can also generate a utm url to where you can track where the traffic is coming from so you don't have to do that this is something that's already available inside of google so technically you don't necessarily need this kind of tool but we just want to make a short link right so you click on this arrow right here and then neon tools gives you a clickable link uh, that's custom customizable. You can also customize it if you want to. So let's say we can just make it, um, I don't know, you know, J-O-I-G or something like this. Okay, six characters long. My name is probably already taken. Oh, no, it actually isn't. So, and I can just go ahead and copy this and then I'm going to pull it, pull it up in the incognito window so you can see how it works. And there you go. That link is functional. So. That's how you set it up in Canva. If you want more tutorials just like this, how to do something similar, I do have a separate video with 17 different Canva hacks on how to do all kinds of different things that you probably don't even know exist in Canva. So go ahead and check it out. It is going to be in the link in the description box. And you can also check it out at the top right corner in the card section. And if you want more tutorials like this, let me know down below into the comment section. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.